So have you heard of people that have black triangles between their teeth, either during or after braces? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about what these black triangles are, how they're caused, how you can prevent them, and some treatments that you can do with your orthodontist and general dentist to take care of these black triangles. So let's go. What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all been having an awesome week and are staying safe. What I want to talk about today's video is something that's a little bit specific and very case dependent, but it is something that's pretty prevalent, especially in people that have adult braces or braces later on in life. And these are those pesky black triangles that show up in between the teeth, generally on the top or bottom front teeth. You don't see them so much so in the back, but they are pretty common in the front teeth. So as always, I'm gonna put the timestamps out in this corner so you can jump ahead wherever you guys like. But before you jump ahead, if you're going to, go ahead and make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with more content like this and really help that YouTube algorithm and help this channel grow. And while you're down there, let me know, do you know anyone that has these black triangles between these teeth? Or maybe you have these black triangles and wanna learn more. Let me know in the comments of today's video or be sure to join the Braces Club, which is also gonna be linked in the description of today's video. Okay, that's enough with the plugs. Let's talk right into today's video. First of all, what I want to talk about is what these black triangles even are. And it's something that you might notice usually on the bottom teeth or between the front top teeth. And they're these little triangles that appear between the contact of the tooth and the gum line. And a lot of people that come in complaining about these actually think that there's gaps between the teeth, but it isn't that there's a gap. Because if you were to put floss between the two teeth, you would notice that the floss would click, which means that the teeth are in contact. But what it is, is there's a little bit of space under the contact, but above the gums. And that's what we call black triangles. And technically speaking, this is called a gingival embrasure. And that's just a fancy name for it. It's basically that little triangle that's formed under the contact on the gingival or the gum side of the tooth. So now that you kind of know what I'm even talking about in today's video, we're gonna talk about what are the causes of these black triangles. And there could be a few. The way they come about is because your teeth are actually triangular in shape. You know, when we see the teeth in the mouth, yeah, they look a little bit rectangular, but they're actually pretty triangular, which means that they're broad on the top. And as you get closer and closer to the root of the tooth, they I keep hitting this thing. I gotta move this away from me. But like I said, the way these teeth are shaped is that they're triangular, so they're wide on the top. And as they get closer to the root of the tooth, they become more tapered. And most of the time, this isn't an issue, but let's say we line up all these teeth that are triangular, right? Now, if the gums go down at all from causes like recession, what you'll start seeing is more and more of that little black triangle forming. It's not like the black triangle wasn't there or the teeth have changed in shape. What really is occurring though is that the gum levels are going down, exposing the fact that these teeth are actually this triangular shape. A lot of the times you might not even notice this in the beginning of treatment because the teeth are overlapped or crowded or something like that. So a lot of the times you might be thinking, well, I never had this before braces, why do I have it now? And that's because it took alignment of the teeth or closing of gaps or things like that to expose that the bone levels were lower and showing the shape of those teeth. Now, different people might be more prone to this. So if you could imagine if you have more triangular shaped teeth or you have more bone loss, you'll be more prone to seeing these black triangles. Because if you can imagine if you had rectangular shaped teeth, if you had a little bit of bone loss, well, the teeth are still in contact, so you wouldn't see it so much. And on the flip side, if you have you know triangular shaped teeth, but you don't have any bone loss, again, you won't notice that the teeth are shaped triangularly. I don't even know if that's a word, triangularly, but you know what I mean, like a triangle. So how do you know if you're prone to these black triangles? Well, you can talk to your dentist or your orthodontist about it. It has a lot to do with the tooth shape of, your, of all your teeth, as well as your bone levels. So if you have healthy gums, the bone levels will be high and your teeth won't show any recession. But if you have some bone loss, which we talked about in a previous video, you'll see these black triangles form a lot more quickly. And basically, like I said, if you have triangular shaped teeth or have this bone loss, you're going to be more prone to these black triangles. So that brings us to the point, how can I prevent this from forming if I'm prone to it or not prone to it, or don't even know if I'm prone to it, right? So here we go back with the good oral hygiene, right? So you want to make sure that you keep your gum levels as healthy as possible. You'll only see these black triangles if you have your gums receding and gum recession generally only occurs when you have bone loss. So how do you maintain good bone levels? Well, this is proper brushing, proper flossing, using a water pick, really maintaining great hygiene throughout your orthodontic treatment before and after. I have literally a bunch of videos that talk about this stuff and I'm gonna link it in the description of today's video, as well as the products that I personally recommend that you can purchase on Amazon in the links below. If you maintain good hygiene, even if your teeth are prone to having these black triangles, they won't show because the bone levels will stay 
you know, really, really close to the crown and not expose the shape of the tooth. So let's move on to the fact that let's say you have these black triangles. What can you do to fix them? Well, the best thing you could do to fix them is prevent them from even occurring. And I know that's a cop out answer, but it really is the best way of treating the black triangles. It's just not to get them, right? But let's say you have them. Well, your orthodontist can do some tricks to decrease these black triangles and in some cases really just totally get rid of them. The most common way to get rid of these black triangles is to change the shape of your teeth. Now, like I said, if your teeth are triangular in shape, right, and they're touching on the top and you have a black triangle under it caused by that bone loss, what your orthodontist can do is something called interproximal reduction. And I did a whole video on what this was, but what it is is basically thinning the area between your two teeth. And we call it a lot of different things, either stripping the teeth, polishing. What it does is it takes teeth that are triangular and makes them a little less triangular. It makes them more rectangular so that when we bring the teeth closer together, that triangle will become narrower and narrower to hopefully getting to the point where it's fully, fully closed. The way we do this is by either using, you know, a drill, a little like file that goes between the teeth, a really, really fine saw. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but basically what it does is reshape the inner proximal area, the, the spot between the teeth. And what we do is we basically make the enamel a little more thin. And that's why you can only do a little bit of this. You can't go too crazy because the outermost layer of the tooth is the enamel. And if you take away too much enamel, one, it makes you more prone to cavities, but two, it also can lead to sensitivity. But your orthodontists can generally see how much they can take away that's still healthy and get to that desired result. But if you have too much bone loss or the teeth are too triangular in shape, we're really limited with how much we can file away these teeth to bring them closer together. So the best thing to do in these cases is that I generally will refer my patients to the gum specialist. And the gum specialist might have some tricks to you know augment the bone levels. And I've actually heard of some dentists that do fillers between the teeth and the gums to puff up the tissue to you know plump up that little black triangle to make it look more full. Now this is a temporary fix, but it is a solution if you have this and you're really bothered by it. Another thing that can be done by your general dentist is that you can actually veneer these teeth. And what a veneer does is it actually changes the shape of the tooth so that it fills up that area and makes your tooth look less triangular and fill in that void so that you don't have that triangle visible. But orthodontically speaking, we can't bring teeth closer together that are already in contact. So a lot of people like, you know, there's still a gap, there's still a gap down here, but there is no gap. The gap is actually just caused by the teeth and the bone levels. Like I said, most of the time your orthodontist can fix this with some of that interproximal reduction, but there are cases where we're limited. You know, we don't want to go too much that we cause your teeth to be unhealthy. A little bit is totally okay. A lot of people can benefit from interproximal reduction, either because of a tooth size discrepancy, you know, maybe your upper teeth or your lower teeth are too big or small, or these black triangles, but too much is excessive. And that's pretty much all there is to black triangle. We talked about what these black triangles were, how they were caused, some treatments for it, and how to prevent them from even occurring in the first place. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out and helps this channel grow. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do that. But that's all I have for you guys today. I will catch you guys next Saturday on another episode of Braces Explained. But for now, Dr. Greg out.